what's going on guys in this video we are going to see an example of diode circuit here we have a diode circuit and the question here is asking us to find out this i and this voltage v okay now here we can use two different methods we can use open circuit method or we can use a short circuit method now let's do this one by short circuit method short circuit method is basically we assume this is a short circuit and find out the current if the current is negative it means this is not a short circuit it's going to be open circuit because the diode is off if it's negative we always has assume the current from anode to cathode okay it always has to flow from anode to cathode and it has to be positive if it's not positive it means this is open circuit and the diode is in reverse bias now let's look at this one here we can calculate okay let's draw the new circuit first so let's redraw this one by everything by making everything short circuit so instead of this one, I'm going to replace this one with a straight wire. And here also we are going to have a straight wire like this. And that's it for this one. And here we have resistance. And this is 10 voltage, 5K ohm. And this is plus minus voltage. And here we have nothing. We have, we have a current flowing through this one, ID2. And then here we have a resistance 10 kilo ohm and this is i1 and we are interested in finding this i current and also this the bottom voltage is negative 10 voltage now if this is connected to the ground this is zero voltage and not, and we have nothing in between so this is also zero voltage okay so this is zero voltage so using this one we can find out this current because this is zero voltage this is 10 voltage 10 minus 0 divided by the resistance between 5k that's going to give us id2 and uh, that's going to give us 2 milliampere id2 is equal to 2 milliampere so this is 2 milliampere and uh, also we can calculate this current i1 i1 is going to be 0 minus minus 10 divided by the resistance in between that's 10k and that's going to give us 1 milliampere so 2 milliampere is entering this node 1 milliampere is going this way this is 1 milliampere then according to Kirchhoff's current law 1 milliampere should be going in this way right so this one should be 1 milliampere but you can see this is for this diode this is anode this is cathode so the current has to flow from this direction this direction is the only possible way if it's in the opposite direction, it means the current is negative. It means our assumption is wrong. This is an open circuit. So this is not correct. So we can say this diode 1 is off. Diode 1 is off. And that's in reverse bias. Okay. So this is going to be the same current going to flow through this one. Because this is an open circuit. So we can replace this one with an open circuit. So this is going to be the correct one. Now if this is to open circuit, this one must be 2 milliampere. And therefore I is equal to 0. That's one of the question. I is equal to 0. And uh, I had to recalculate. I think, yeah, like it doesn't work like we had to recalculate everything because before we did assuming this one short circuit. Now we had to recalculate all the current by making this open. Now let's go ahead and recalculate everything okay so here we have id2 and uh, this is zero we can take the whole thing to find out this current so let's take the whole circuit because the current here and here is going to be same because since this is in series all of the currents are going to be same so 10 minus minus 10 so id2 is going to be 10 minus minus 10 divided by the resistance between here we have 5k here we have 10k all of them are in series so totally we are going to have 15k so 20 divided by 15k that's going to give us 1.33 milliampere so that's going to be the current here and here 1.33 milliampere and this is also 1.33 milliampere okay now we have the current now we have we have to find out what is this voltage here okay to find out this voltage, since we know the current, we can find out the voltage easily by using this equation. V 
minus okay actually 10 minus because current is flowing in this direction since the current is go coming from up to down this should be 10 minus v divided by the resistance between 5k should be equal to 1.33 milliampere therefore 10 minus v is going to be 1.33 milli times 5k k milli cancels finally we will end up with 10 minus 5 times 1.33 that's going to give you 6.65 and that's equal to v therefore v is going to be equal to 3.35 voltage and that's going to be the v voltage and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching